Big shout outs actually to um, at Glemnet SAL, www.southernamateurleague.co.uk, the SAL. Big shouts, big shouts. And a big shout out to Andy Copeland, who's trailer for um, his Pitch Talk Meets interview which is on youtube.com forward slash Pitch Talk you saw earlier and also big shout out to Rob Lusher Ivis FC legend Rob Lusher um, who was actually playing with us this weekend big shout out to him and his Pitch Talk Meets interview is quality on youtube.com forward slash Pitch Talk um, big shout out to the Amateur FA as well www.amateur-fa.com big shout out to them because it was a cup weekend this week and it's one of them ones the um the ibis ones the ibis ones were in action against a lean old boys and in the in the f in one of the afa cups and they actually went down three one in defeat with alex minchel sup Mitch, um getting the only goal of the game in a three one defeat um the Ibis 2s actually won 1 0 as well. I cannot remember off the top of my head who actually scored in that one, but I know they won 1 0. Um, also, 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 the Ibis FC 3s went down 6 0 in um, the AFA, I think it was the AFA Junior Cup um, against. Was it Junior Cup or Intermediate Cup? I can't remember, can't, remember, can't, remember off the, can't remember off the top of my head. I think it was, I think it was Jupiter. But um, yeah, the Ibis FC freeze went down 6 0 to Oak Hill Tigers reserves. And the result that we're going to focus on is, is from Saturday, 12th of October 2013. The Ibis 4s 0, Alexandra Park FC 4s 2. Um, and a big shout out to Dave McLaughlin, chairman at Alexandra Park FC, and Mr. Ray Gerlach, the sponsorship liaison officer at Alexandra Park FC. I said to um, the APFC Force captain, say hello to Dave for me. <laughs> so I know so it was after the game, I was like, it's good, well done, man, good luck for the season. Say hello to Dave for us. What is the G Man doing? I would love to know what you're watching. <laughs> he doesn't want to tell apologies he doesn't, he doesn't want to tell he's nah apologies nah something that Samir sent, sent us on the Facebook wall so anybody out there you know you can go on our Facebook wall now and um, yeah oh as Samir said are you watching those clips yeah he was trying he was trying <laughs> to I caught him in the act I caught, I caught him in the bloody act blast but, the iPhone ah, but it's all that was um, yeah Ibis 4's nil. Alexander Park 4's um, 2 in the AFA Minor Cup. Um, this is from Saturday, 16th of November 2013. The starting lineup. Starting lineup was myself, straight shooting LJA, aka Liam Angel, Captain of the You got point funds at yourself. LJA. I don't know what you were doing. Yeah. But yeah, I was in goal again. Um, we had Carl Bolton and Tom Buttress. Um, Mark Furness, Pete Snell, Ashley Farrell, Alex Lafon, Callum Mayfield, um, Gideon Barnett, Jordan Mills, and Barry Clark as the starting lineup. And we had Rico Boyce, aka Big Reason, Rob Lusher on the substitutes bench. We've, we're going to come back to some of these texts actually from Big T because those are absolutely funny. Um, but, 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 we are going to get on to a match report. The AFA Minor Cup. Another distraction, but another game where we showed a lot of character. Um, the earlier kickoff time resulted in a couple of late arrivals, including the kit, but we got out on the pitch for a quick, very quick warm-up before we got underway. Um... This match, as said, actually had a bit of a pitch talk link to it due, due to our oppo being the fourth team of Alexandra Park FC, um, who you might remember from the um, pitch talk on the road video at their um, kit sponsorship launch with 14. Um, but I digress. The match started off well with Buttress and Bolton at centre back again with Furness filling in for me at left back. Um, big shout out to Mark Furness actually it was a lot of fun it was a lot of fun having some brewskis after the game um, and, and Pete Snell at right back also a big shout out to Pete as well um, but yeah man Alex and Ash actually made a kind of a good combo in the um, centre of midfield with Baz and Jordan up top um, Gideon was at right mid and Callum Mayfield who hadn't played for us in a while returning at left mid um, we did start off well and we were moving the ball around well for the first 20 minutes especially down the right hand side with Pete and Gids linking up really well and causing havoc 
down that side and whipping in a couple of dangerous crosses as well. But against the runner play, the first goal actually came from a corner. We were passing the ball around neatly, and from a but from a goal kick, I decided to take it and go long instead of putting it putting it across the box to Tom Buttress, who was waiting, waiting just outside the box. But basically, I didn't like my kick. The, kick, the ball actually got booted long, but came right back because my kick was a bit short. I didn't think I was going to be able to get it across the box in time before one of their strikers closed it down, which is why I didn't go for the short option. But, but, one tactic that APFC did deploy was putting a man on the keeper, which happened to be me, obviously. Um, and the in-swinging corner was headed in by their big striker from close range, which, it was a sucker punch of a goal, but we kept playing our game and we rounded out the half actually on top. Um, the halftime team talk was a positive one, as the only real negative was the goal we could see. But, we knew we had to test their keeper as I was the busiest of the two. Um, so the second half beget, began and the game became rather more dis- rather disjointed as the half wore on with our passing rhythm changing more into kind of hoof and hope at times. Um, APFC got more into the game as we couldn't get the same momentum into our play um, into our play during the, sec- during the half and the return of Rob Lusher who, as I said, this past season, um, this past summer, sorry, sat down for a pitch talk meets interview. A little bit of promo in there. Of course, a little bit of promo in there. Um, but he replaced Pete Snell at right back. I I actually originally wanted to bring Robin to centre mid to get a bit of aerial prowess in there, but needs must. Square pegs, round holes and all that. Um, but um, also um, later in the half, Rico came on for Jordan Mills. Um, we were chasing the game and as, and as a result, we did leave gaps at the back, but... Progression to the AFA Minor Cup third round. It it meant that we did take some risks. But for the last 15, 20 minutes, I actually did decide to switch Tom Butchers from centre back into his preferred centre mid role. Um, I said just to kind of try and get a bit more foot of a foot on the ball at centre mid. Um, and switch um, Alex Lafon to centre back alongside Carl. But the more we chased, the more we left gaps, and APFC ended up scoring a second goal, which really put pay to our efforts um, with about three or four minutes left to go. So we bowed out of the AFA Minor Cup, and after the match, there was a bit of a debate about playing styles, but it was basically pragmatism versus pretty football at AFA level, especially fours level. I mean, it's an everlasting debate, but one thing that also was everlasting is the spirit shown by the Ibis, and by the Ibis fours again. It's back to league duty next week, though, um, which is going to be very interesting with a local derby against Polytechnic. I think it's the, the Polytechnic Sevens we're playing. So if we could develop a cutting edge and combine it with the fighting spirit, I think we'll be good for the season. Uh, hey, I'm sure it's shooting LJ, and that is my take on the deal. That's my take on the match. But it it was it was one that it's one of them ones where it was. Uh, it was a good game. I, f- I think it was. I think it's one of them ones where it, it was an enjoyable game to play, in. and even Carl Bowen was like, "You know what? That was an enjoyable game to play." In. Even in goal, I actually did. I actually did quite enjoy it this week. But it's just a shame about the defeat. Well, I guess we might have to get more of us to have a trainer. But information about the Ibis, we are on the lookout for players still. IbisFootballClub at gmail.com is where you need to email for more information. Facebook.com forward slash IBIS dot FC. Ibis dot FC um, at Ibis underscore football on Twitter or Twitter.com forward slash Ibis IBIS underscore football. Um, IbisFC.co.uk is the official website. So big shout out to John Timmins, aka JT who runs the website. Um, training is every Wednesday 7.30pm until 9pm at the Bat Park all weather AstroTurf pitches the southwest part of those AstroTurfs next to the Children's Adventure Playground um, matches are on Saturdays anywhere within the M25 where you play northwest southeast west is dictated by the team you play for so it's one of you look like almost you are going to say something huh? just watching video <laughs> I thought you were going to say something no no no, no, no. So, so I was watching videos and I was listening to eagerly. Um, it's terrible. Raring to go, raring to go for listen, Saturday. Anyway, hey, listen to me. eagerly, but watching videos. <coughs> Oxymoron. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. 
No, but I, I did want to say this video that Samir posted absolutely funny. He actually caught me off guard here. Yeah. I thought it was Tekkas, 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 Tekkas. You need to watch it. I'm going to watch that later. I'm going to watch that later. But let's, uh, let's swing on because we've got a couple of other teams to mention within the grassroots segment and that's Haringey Borough Women's FC are one of the other teams we feature in the grassroots segment. They're located in Coles Park, White Hart Lane, Tottenham, London, N17, 7JP. They do have a Facebook group, Haringey Borough Women's FC. Ask politely. They'll let you be a part of it. Um, at HBWFC1 on Twitter and they are developing their website at the moment which is www.haringaywomenfc.co.uk big shouts to Kendall Campbell actually um, and I have his teammate of mine heal your wheel bro get well soon um, we train on Tuesday they train on Tuesday and Thursday evenings from 7.30pm until 9.30pm at the Northumberland Park Community School True Lock Road London N17 0 PG and their match days are on Sunday so big shouts to Arrogate Borough Women's FC. Big shout out to Stevenage Borough Ladies FC as well. We haven't had a match report in a while, but but it was one it's one of them was we did get we did get something last week. Um from Stevenage Borough Ladies FC, so big shout out to Dave Potter. Um, clubwebsite.co.uk forward slash Stevenage B O R O F C. They do have a Facebook page, Stevenage Borough Ladies FC. Um, their first team is in the Eastern Region Premier Division for 2013 2014, and their reserves are in the Eastern Region South from, for 2013 2014 season. They play on Sunday afternoons as well, and their home pitch is the Code Coat Sports and Social Club, Berry Lane, Code Coat SG48XX. Um, so we had a match report from La- from that we got through last week um, and Dave Potter has said things going well with both squads um, first team played Haringey Haringey Borough Women's FC um, and not being there does make it hard to write a, write a report so I'll be interested in their report um, always a tougher physical game against Haringey and with two players not showing up um, one being the goalkeeper things didn't start well and they had to play the game with 10 um, the ladies played together as a team and battled hard to record another win coming out 2-0 winners and pushed the first team up to third in the league two goals from Jess McNamara um, the reserves had a away cup game versus Norwich City reserves leaving Stevenage at 9 and getting home at 7.30 in the evening it was a long day the reserves were missing key players and after Beth Page injured herself injured herself in the warm-up they had to play the game with no subs and Norwich having five again like the first team the girls battled hard and were winning 1-0 um, after captain Sheree Evans scored a 25 yard screamer but with 10 minutes to go Norwich scored with a hopeful ball into the area from 40 yards that was taken by the wind um, by the wind and deceived the borough keeper who could only parry it into the night um, into the net I think that should be um, then they produced a moment of magic after a break down the right and the cross was met on the volley and flew into the net Van Percy style 2-1 to Norwich but a great performance from the borough they should be proud of yeah. 